Hey guys, Simon Bellanzer Extra again, and you could sort of call this a one-off video, but it's sort of the start of a new series as well. But, just to give you some context, for the past year or so, I've been saving up money to get a new uh, PC, which is for gaming, slash like video editing, stuff like that. And, basically, I, I've learned a lot about parts and computer components over the time I've been saving up, and I've done a lot of stuff and looked at a lot of stuff, and... I wanted to share some of the info I know and some of the things that you need to know if you're going to build a PC with you guys. So instead of a programming tutorial today, it's going to be looking over some parts, talking about them, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it and there'll be a few more parts to the series, hopefully. So the there's two main uh, CPU types. Now CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It's like the brain of the computer, what, ev what everything goes through. And it's the biggest factor of speed when you're going when you're getting a computer. So, yeah. But uh, it, just to talk about it, the, basically there's two uh, main brands. There's either Intel or AMD. Now AMD seems to be cheaper on most models, and Intel is more expensive. But people think most people think Intel is slightly more powerful. But if you compare them in a gaming environment or a browsing environment, they're not. There's not that much difference really. So I mean. Yeah, today, well, with my build, I'm going with a, uh, I'll open up here, an AMD FX 6 core black edition. Uh, it's the FX 6300, which is a pile driver core, I think. But yeah, basically, to look at some of the specs, we need to just go down a bit. Right, right here are the specs here. I'll talk you through all this stuff, and don't, don't worry about them. I mean, it might look a bit weird at the moment, but hopefully, you'll know a bit about computers, but yeah. So basically, the part number is just whatever the name of the parts is used. But don't worry about that. Like the socket type is one thing you need to pay a lot of attention to. Now this socket is AM3 plus, and a socket is the way that the pins are configured. So you see in this uh, CPU here, uh, these pins on the bottom on this image here at the top. The way they're configured is the uh, um, socket type. So this is an AM3 Plus, which is, I believe, the most, the biggest socket. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so yeah, just pay attention to that. Make sure it's compatible with your motherboard. If you don't know what motherboard is, then I'll make another part somewhere talking about motherboards, and I'll do pretty much every part this year of the PC. Another thing you want to look at is the power, whatever what it takes, because some motherboards, I think now, motherboards can only support a certain watt CPU so you need to pay attention to this. This is 95 watts which is actually pretty decent. It's quite a small amount. But some motherboards might only support like a hundred and you're if you're overclocking it and stuff then you want to have a good range so yeah keep keep that in mind. A frequency which is me measured in gigahertz is pretty much the speed of the um CPU. Now this is three thousand five hundred megahertz which is three point five gigahertz I believe so that is a pretty pretty decent speed. Anything above three would be for big games, uh, probably radio editing, anything around that sort of area. Quite big applications. If you're just browsing the internet and stuff, only anything below three or anything below two point five or something will be fine. But for my build, it's going to be a beast PC. I've gone for a three point five gigahertz processor, which is quite a nice. The processor bus speed not specified. Don't worry about that. The L2 cache is the cache that's shared, be shared between all the cores, but I'll talk about cores in a sec. Uh, basically, we scroll up a minute. <coughs> you can see it says six core here. And what a core is, it's like a micro processing unit. The more cores in your CPU, the more applications you can run, I think. The, the better it is for running multiple applications and stuff. Now, six cores is a lot. Uh, I think the maximum at the moment is eight cores, which is absolutely like, that's just overkill. But, um, put it this way, like a few years ago, they used to, be, they used to only be like dual core processors, which is two microprocessors, used to be like the, the peak of the market. But now the peak is eight cores, which is like loads more than that. But basically, if you're buying a CPU, it depends what you want to use it for. But I would recommend getting as many cores as you can afford. Uh, but eight is overkill for me, so I'm not going to bother. But yeah, try and get as many cores as you can, because it's helpful in the long run when you're running applications and stuff. So, yeah, this is a CPU I'm going to get for my PC, which I'll be building 
in the holidays, which is the end of this week actually. Uh, hopefully, I'll order it someone soon, all the parts anyway. But um, that's pretty much all the stuff you need to bear in mind. So, all you need to bear in mind is how many cores it has, the socket type uh, compared to your motherboard socket type, the watt, so what your motherboard can support, frequency you need to pay attention to, this is a speed. Uh, not really much else. Obviously, this is actually a pretty good price for um, this CPU. This is on actually AMD's website, which is actually a pretty good price. But yeah, basically that's all the stuff you need to pay attention to when you're buying a CPU. And the next part will I don't know what it'll be really. I might do motherboards because that's one of the main bits you need to think about when you're buying a new PC. But this. Uh, series will probably continue and um, I might upload another video today. Hey guys, just to add something on the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a poll or a message thing every week on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. And what it's going to be about is I'm going to do a new series about uh, making applications that you guys have suggested. So if you have any suggestions of an application that could be run in a uh, text console and as long as it's acceptable, so no rude stuff or anything, I will I will make it and then try and do a video on how it works and stuff, and I'll send it back to you. You can do whatever you want with it, and hopefully I'll make a good series out of it. So um, I'll start it this week. I'll start it now, and I'll make a video on the weekend, and I'll do it from then on. So, yeah, that's about it for today, so uh, bye.